If history tells us anything, when a town loses a school, it's a traumatic effect on the town. Knowing that the school was going to shut down, I feel like that actually like boosted our confidence because we were like, we want to go out with a bang. This school is the backbone of this town. We had practice the night after they voted to close it, and when I walked in the gym, it was a completely different vibe. It's got to be hard on them, I would think, because they've grown together with their friends here, and to have to split them apart and grow their, and go their separate ways has got to be very difficult for them. There are some emotional aspects I think they, they probably have to deal with. You know, I, I always took pride in this school, and, and I think any of uh, our children growing up in the same environment uh, have, have uh, really enjoyed that camaraderie of, of small community. I just hate to see that, that go away. I can't imagine being in a large school where you're just a number. The reason I moved over to this town and stayed here was I like this school, nice small community. Everybody welcomed us. They t treat my kids like they're their own, and you, know, you couldn't ask for better. She's delivering the crown, and I think he's delivering a basketball, if I understand right. Junior, king, and queen. Everybody having a good time. They, they you know, just joined together for everything, and uh, you know, I mean, all schools do it, I guess, to some extent, but this is a town event. If the schools are doing something, the town is doing it. I grew up as a Sullivan Golden Arrow, and uh, I am now a Union Bulldog. These people here have just welcomed me with open arms ever, ever since I came here. And uh, it's just, it's a good town. It's a great town, actually. People take care of each other, and it's just, it's almost like a giant family, 900 people family. And if you take that school away, this town is essentially going to dry up and go away. Kids here don't want to go. Um, you know, you're going to split them up. You're going to, some of these kids are going to go to Sullivan. Some of these kids are going to go to Linton. Uh, they're going to end up playing against each other when they've been growing up playing together all their life. This town is uh, close-knit and very prideful, and, and they really, really made our resolve that much stronger. We came together as a town. Athletic Director Clarence Johnson and the UHS Student Council would like to welcome you to the 2014 Basketball Homecoming. One of the things they do around here is homecoming. They have a, we have a football homecoming and a basketball homecoming. One of the three senior candidates would be the queen, and then out of the underclassmen, they select a princess. Of course, with the building closing, it's, it's even more important this year to the kids. Who's that lot final queen? As a senior, um, it's still upsetting because it's my community, but I'm kind of happy that I'm going to be able to graduate. I love Duggar. I love the small community and you know everybody and you can trust everybody. It's just an amazing community. I know that they're working their hardest to keep the school alive, so I'm hoping that everybody will just stay positive. Game nights, you know, they're still they still get excited, you know, but you know, anytime we step out there for practice it, it's it's a battle. It's just not what it was. You know, I think the kids I think the small schools are good. It gives kids a chance to to play at some bigger school, some of these kids wouldn't get a chance to play. They always have a chance of winning a sectional, and there's a lot of a lot of guys that's in college and in NBA that's never won one of those, and those are special to win. And you know that, that that's my main thing for them. I still want them to have the opportunity to win one of those to see what it feels like and the celebration that goes along with it at a small school. You know, it's always exciting.
We've got a lot of business support, a lot of uh, letters of endorsement um, from the Indiana Railroad, uh, from Bear Run, Peabody Energy, uh, down the road, it's the largest coal mine east of the, east of the Mississippi. They know that their employees are going to be coming from this school and from this area. And they, they have a vested interest in it, too. Uh, we're going to get this done. We're going to go one of two ways. We're either going to try to get redistricting done or we're going to become a charter school. Um, we're still going to offer the sports that these kids have been playing. Hopefully we're going to be even better, even better than what we were before.